Play this on repeat until you master this problem on bond line structures. So here we have CH3CHO. And so we're going to use these clues. Namely, we have a carbon next to three H's right here. So this is a carbon next to three H's. And then we also have another carbon that is bonded to an oxygen bonded to another H atom right here. I'm going to start by drawing the carbon on the left hand side. I'm going to say that this is my carbon, which again has four valence electrons. And then I'm going to attach my three H's on each end here. One, two, three. And every time we have a pair of electrons, we're going to change that into a bond like so. Good. And then now we know that this is bonded to a CHO. Okay. So you might be tempted to draw that as a C bonded to an H. And then therefore we would eliminate this and turn this into a single bond. But notice that the oxygen that lives over here would have one electron from the carbon and then one, two, three, four, five, okay, and six electrons from oxygen with carbon having an extra electron right here. Okay, and so this is kind of awkward here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lone pair and then bond this one to this one here. So essentially, I'm going to just move this electron and put it right here. And then I'm going to move this electron and put it right here. So thus now we have two pairs of electrons that creates a double bond represented by these two lines here. It's pretty much good here, but I'm just going to rotate the double bond at an angle for convention here and have my two lone pairs on the side and create that H right here. So as we can see, we do have a CH3, a double bond O and an H here. This is going to be one of our first functional groups. This is going to be known as an aldehyde. Okay. So the reason it's an aldehyde is because it's going to have an H right here. And so there's an H in the word aldehyde. That's how I like to memorize aldehydes. And this is acetaldehyde.